Simon, NewEarthCooking.com. The orangutan is our cousin, is our close cousin, and scientists say it has the intelligence of a five-year-old. But if you ask me, it's a lot wiser than you and I. At the moment, we are destroying its habitat. We've burned down a piece of land where they used to live the size of Germany, and we're going to keep going. Then, within the next 10 years, the orangutan will be extinct. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to tell my children, sorry, darling, there's no more orangutans because daddy wanted to eat snacks. No, I love Indonesia, and I'm not going to tell you off by saying stop burning down your forests because I understand the pressure of these big corporations to, to make money to boost the economy. So, I'm going to show Indonesia a couple of solutions to produce food that can work in cooperation with our beautiful cousins, the orangutan. This is jackfruit. This tree will grow up to a thousand years old. It will produce hundreds of kilos of fruit every single year. The seeds, the skin, the fruit, it's all edible in many, many ways. Check out my YouTube channel, New Earth Cooking, for a beautiful recipe with jackfruit that tastes a lot like pulled pork. So in other words, food forestry is the way. No more monocrops in the tropics, but we're creating a food forest, right? So the top of the land here, this is a small plot of land that's going to slope down to the river. At the top, we're placing a fish pond, right? Fish will be sitting in here, producing fertilizer as well as flesh to feed the garden, and to feed ourselves. Now moving on to the next layer. Trees. Durian, mighty durian tree. Durian. We have a little tamarillo tree taking off. We have fern tips growing. We have bananas happening. It's all happening around us. And of course, we're creating a habitat for birds, lizards, snakes to live here as well. They're all part of it. Move on. Vines are an essential part of the jungle. And of course, the pumpkin is a vine too. So we can have this crawling on man-made structures like this bamboo structure as well as fruit trees. Now your food, despite an organic label, is never going to be as healthy as the soil. And in a forest situation, we always have the most amazing, rich and healthy soil with a beautiful texture. It's full of life and minerals. So your food grown in food forests will reflect that. I, be I believe that food forestry products deserve a special label and can be sold at a surplus. Now, Park Dewi here was born in 1945 in Indonesia and at his time the forests were still in balance. We're the next generation. Park Dewi is leaving this behind for us. <laughs> He's been working this piece of land in an organic, natural way. Right? But we're the next generation around the world. Let's make him proud. <laughs> so the solution for this is very simple. Skip all aisles in the supermarket except for the fresh produce, fish or meat section. Most products contain palm oil and not an option. Now you might say I'm too busy to prepare my own food or I'm too busy to go to the markets and source clean raw vegetables. I'm going to ask you to then reevaluate your life. What dream are you chasing? Which jobs are you working? What does happiness mean to you? Because to me, a beautiful dog, a clean river, amazing soil, plants around us. These are the things that are uh, a human need. All right. So if you need guidance, there's newearthcooking.com, the website, the YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook page. And I'll be communicating to you as your friend to help you, help me, help us find solutions to keep this planet in balance and to thrive and survive and not go extinct.